Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. A great show ahead for you. We're going to start talking about the gift of giving a piece of art, a unique, special, original piece of art. Uh, I cannot encourage you enough to support our, our local artists. I mean, like any other industry um, around the globe, uh, that's an industry that was greatly impacted by the pandemic. And the Ottawa School of Art has their holiday gala coming up. Uh, again, a great opportunity for them to not only showcase some local artists, but uh, it's a great fundraiser for them. And joining us now to talk about it, is Shayla Hanscom. She's the marketing coordinator at the Ottawa School of Art. Welcome, Shayla. Thank Great to you have so you here. Much. Um, for pe people that aren't familiar with the Ottawa School of Art, tell us a little bit about yourselves. So the Ottawa School of Art is a really great studio and um, hands-on based art school that is uh, here in Ottawa in the Byward Market as well as in our Orleans uh, Shankman Art Center location. Um, we have all sorts of courses for children to adults and a certificate program as well as a diploma program. Um, we definitely offer courses for beginners all the way up to intermediate from photography to drawing to painting all sorts of stuff and there's there's all that on our website at artottawa.ca with our winter courses even still if you wanted to apply uh, for registration there you can see all that's available uh, this coming up term so that's and what you we have offer. a gallery down in the Byward Market we location do, and yeah. of course at the theater as well right? yes there at the Shankman we do also have our Orleans gallery but um, the Byward Market gallery are our J.W. Stellick Gallery as well as our Lima Tassi Gallery that are available but uh, the holiday art sale is taking place in our J.W. Stellick Gallery and um, yeah so it's it's going to be a great time to be back with everyone in the yeah. community and and really uh, open up the doors again and say you know this is what Ottawa art is you know our community and what it's about and um, really just having inviting everyone back in. Well what was it like for the gallery did you have to close down did you we change did. to doing some virtual we did do virtual okay. for a short for our time um, we had some some movement around that um, and how to best showcase the artwork so we did videos we did oh, online cool. galleries we did different things like that to really um, help engage people back into the artwork even though we were all separated from each other for that time right um, so yeah just really showing the artists uh, the best way that we could and, and and really getting their artwork still out there through through that time um, let's talk about this holiday sale yes. um, is it a fundraiser then for it the gallery as well it's a fundraiser but not for the gallery okay. it's a fundraiser for our uh, bursary program so our bursary programs provide uh, financial assistance for those that need uh, during their registration so they can uh, apply to any course that they're looking at and we just uh, they apply for the bursary online or through email um, and we're able to help them really reach their goals in attending their class and so that's what our, fund our holiday fundraiser is really um, supporting this year. Uh, we have other fundraisers that support our outreach program as well as our scholarships and um, different uh, boutique uh, opportunities as well okay. for, for artists. So um, those are those are what we, we offer at the Ottawa School of Art. Well, you brought some examples of some original art. Yes. Let's start with this piece closest to you. Tell yes, me a little so bit about this. this. Is, um, this is a print from uh, Siobhan Arnaud. Um, this is going to be one of the works that will be for sale this Thursday, November 17th at 5 p.m. Um, this is, uh, her work is called Into the Wildwood. And uh, we have another painting over here. Um, this is from... Uh, Karen Cunningham and it's called Winter Drifts and this is an acrylic on canvas as well as we have two two others here by you as well. Yeah, tell me about this piece. Here. Um, so this is by Marcel Copa called Caribou and it's a mixed media print and it will also be for sale. Um, and then we have a watercolor as well by um, Beata Jacou Beck and it's called Color Fields and um, so yeah so that's some of the work that we're gonna have on display um, there's a variety of works from printmaking painting drawing as well um, some sculpture and, and smaller items as well for for like bookmarks and different things that really would give uh, a really powerful you know statement as a gift I think right. and, and it really shows the original uh, works as well from Ottawa, and I think that that would be really great to to, 
to have this holiday season in uh, in around the community as well. For sure. What yeah. about the price points? I mean, I know a lot of yeah. people when they hear art, they're you know original art. Oh my goodness, yeah. right? There, yeah. There's like that intimidation factor. Yes. Is that is that kind of a misconception? A, a I, little? I think with the holiday art sale, we do have a lot of affordable um, price points as well, ranging from ten dollars to five hundred dollars. So wow. um, there's definitely a span that you can go through, and even if you just wanted to come look, you could come and see for free and then just take a, in all the art if you wanted to or if you wanted to purchase something there is affordable uh, prices that are available as well. You're an artist yourself? I am, Tell me yes. a little bit about your background so as an artist. So my background is ceramic sculpture. Okay. Um, I do a lot of figurative work. Um, I work um, a lot with um, porcelain. Um, so yeah, that's my, my background personally, but uh, it's, it's really... Um, a wonderful thing to be able to have a practice and create art as well as be a part of helping other people uh, celebrate their art and share it with other people as well because so, you get both sides of it. You know? Yeah and I was going to say a lot of people do it of course for personal reasons. I yeah. was telling you you know my daughter is a wonderful artist so, so is my wife and yeah. you know th that's not their career but yeah. what kind of career opportunities are there out there for, for artists because I think people think oh well the only career opportunity is if I'm a painter I'm, I'm going to sell my paintings. Are, are there other career opportunities that people aren't aware of? Yeah, so there, there's a lot in the community in terms of like administration. If you're not feeling comfortable to sell your own work, there's different ways that you can go about encouraging other people and helping those in the administration aspect as well, which I don't think people think about a lot. Right. Um, but in, in terms of selling your own work, you know, if you're a sculptor, you're a painter, you draw, you know, any, any mixed media work that you do, um, it's all about really just having your you know, your practice really come through and what you're doing. Right. And, um, you know, there are places like the Ottawa School of Art that have sales like this that really help showcase what you can do and, and what um, is available for the Ottawa community as well. Um, and then there's also, you know, online with everything changing in the last couple of years, a lot more online shows and a lot more um, online auctions as well for artists. So there's, there's the opportunity there to really uh, expand into international as well because right, there's so much course. online now, right? What, what advice um, do you give to people that, you know, are, are trying to get their name out there, trying to promote themselves? What yeah. sort of advice would you give somebody? Um, I would say, like, you know, getting your name out there and really practicing what you feel is your perspective and what you feel is your uh, concept and in your work and then just really, you know, reaching out to places like the Ottawa School of Art and different community-based um, uh, art uh, uh, companies and different things like that that you can contact and don't be afraid to ask questions. Right. You know? I guess social yeah. media yeah, plays social a, a media. big role now for, yes, for a absolutely. lot of artists. Yeah, it's important to have a portfolio. It's important to have things for examples and really reaching out to an online basis as well because you can really show um, your work in a way that you won't show in a gallery. You can right. show back behind the scenes work on social media. You can show, you know, things in process, um, which really gives a cool conversation with with people, like, you know, followers and different things, to comments and likes. It just creates this conversation that we haven't had before, um, that wouldn't necessarily be in a gallery. So yeah, it agreed. really opens it up. Shayla, thanks so much for joining us. Thank really you. appreciate it. I'll remind everybody at home the 38th. It's actually the 38th annual uh, uh, holiday fundraising gala happening. Uh, November 17th to December 4th. That's in the Byward Market campus located down on George Street. We'll be right back. <laughs>